Daniela Schreier is a clinical and forensic psychologist, and she joins us now live from Chicago. Daniela, is it just futile to even ask why? Well, at this point, the why is always the question, but we really don't have enough information. We have heard about the shooter that he might have been a little bit odd and eccentric. Other people have claimed he might have had a personality disorder. People say he might have been on an autistic spectrum, actually disorder, but we don't have enough information. And at this point, the why would not make any sense or would not relieve the grief of the parents, of the teachers, or uh, of all uh, of America as a matter of fact, Colleen. Yeah, it seems lately in America we see, we see this pattern. We see a young person um, in some sort of emotional distress with access to weapons. I mean, is this 20-something killer in public places a, a, a trend? Well, it is very interesting because look at 2012 here in America. It started in Colorado with James Holmes in the summer. Then only last week, the Oregon shooting by uh, Roberts in the mart or in the mall. And now we're having another young man, the same age group, basically committing another um, outrageous crime. We can say a couple of things. People in their early 20s generally would not be the typical mass shooter or mass murderer. We would look at people in their maybe 30s or 40s, white men in general, people who have reached a plateau. They might have not reached the career that they wanted, they might have lost their relationship, and they're angry and they go out, they might have mental illness and shoot. But now we have the 20 year olds and it's very interesting. Maybe they have issues to control their emotions a little bit more and their impulses because the frontal lobes, our impulse control center, only develops around that age. They also have difficulty to deal with their emotions. Very often they might have alcohol and drug issues added on. They might already be depressed. They have a really hard time. This generation is also called the echo boomers. They often saw their parents succeed, but now America is in crisis and so are they. They are the generation that actually lived in both Americas. And Colleen, what I mean by that is they lived in an America that was really fear free prior to 9-11. This is when these guys were maybe 10, 11 or so years old. And then they came to know another America. And you know, I mean, <laughs> Shootings in public places, schools, malls, youth events, this is not unique to America, right? But it seems the use of guns and the deadly force seems to be. Well, I, I do think there's a couple of things here. Um, it is not maybe only guns and access to guns, because we know, for example, even in Europe, I am European, so if you want a gun, you can get a gun. You get to, to go to the black market. But I think the, the culture of weapons is definitely stronger in America, all right? Um, in the sense of the latest shooter, well, he had access to weapons in his house. But Colleen, these were all planned actions. That is not that somebody um, um, all of a sudden um, kind of had an urge and went out to kill people. These were planned, actually, mass shootings. So people would have had time to get access to weapons, I guess, anyways. But as we know, yes, maybe in America we have the trend based on our constitution that people have the right to access to arms and we use them. But if you look into China, the recent events since 2010, there were a lot of actually attacks on school children and people used knives. Now, if you use a weapon, this is a passive action. You know, you have a magazine and you load it and you shoot people. You don't need so much emotion. You can stay there and do that in the mall uh, or actually in the cinema, that means in the theaters. But if you have a knife, this is very active. You have to stand in front of a person and you really kill them or hurt them badly. So it's actually easier, in my opinion, right, to kill people with a gun. And secondly, when we have this machine guns, the rifles, certainly that we have more victims because the gun has just more capacity. Right. The damage is so much greater. Daniela Schreier, clinical and forensic psychologist, thank you for your thoughts, your analysis on this. I do appreciate it.